Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the taskbar thumbnail previews for your open apps. So what I mean by thumbnails is let's say you have File Explorer open with a couple windows. You hover over it and you get to see the previews. Same with Chrome, for example. So we just did a video on how to disable this using the Windhawk tool. But if you don't want to install Windhawk, uh, then we're going to show you how to do this using a simple registry edit. All right, so also, let's go to the taskbar settings here. And even if we change this to never, we still get the previews like that too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the registry editor by typing regedit. Click on registry editor. So you'll need to be an administrator to run the registry editor, so we'll say yes. All right, so now what we're going to do is navigate to this key here. So the easiest way is just to copy and paste it. So I'll have this in the description. Press Enter. Okay, so now we need to make a new DWORD 32-bit value called Num Thumbnails. So we'll just right-click in any blank spot, or you can right-click on Taskband. New DWORD 32-bit value. Paste that in. Press Enter. We just need to make sure the value here is set to zero, which it is. All right, so now we're going to restart the computer here real quick for the changes to take effect. You might be able to log off and back on, but we're going to reboot just to make sure it's fully rebooted here. So we'll be back after that's done. Okay, so we're back on the desktop here. So let's open File Explorer here. Okay. Open a couple of Chrome windows as well. All right, so now you can see we just have the list view here or the names of the open windows rather than a thumbnail. All right, so let's go to the taskbar and change the view here. Now you can see it works for that as well. And then if you change your mind, just open up Registry Editor. Go back to that same key, find the num thumbnails D word value, right click on it, delete it, and reboot the computer, and things will be back to normal. All right, so I'll put the text for this procedure in the description, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.